Hello viewers, welcome back to my technology channel on YouTube GTech. Here is a very interesting video for all those you guys who are into DIY audio electronics and also those of you who are into professional audio equipments. A year back, just before the lockdown due to COVID-19, I started to design and prototype high resolution lossless audio media players as well as high quality audio amplifiers. So in this video, I'm going to show you the first amplifier that I built in this series. So it's a MOSFET amplifier in the sense the output stage of the amplifier has lateral MOSFETs in its design. It's a 70 watts plus 70 watts stereo amplifier with very low noise characteristics. So it has a THD of less than 0 0.01, which is very good for an audio amplifier. It also has a very good signal to noise ratio. The amplifier board in its design has the following transistors in various stages. In the input stage, it has 2SC1845 and 2SA992. So these are Japanese transistors. So in the input stage. In the driver stage, it has general purpose transistors MJE340 and MJE350. So these are uh, very commonly used in uh, many amplifiers. So in the output stage, so it uses MOSFETs. So it uses the lateral MOSFETs 10N20 and 10P20. So 10N20 and uh, 10P20 are excellent MOSFETs from a company called Exicon. So this is how the amplifier looks externally. So back of the amplifier you can see here. So these are uh, speaker terminals, input terminals in the power socket. So on the sides there are heat sinks on both sides and then uh, here is the front of the cabinet, front of the amplifier, front panel. So volume knobs and the power button. So sorry about the quality of uh, the volume knobs. I want uh, for quality time to procure good ones. Very shortly I will uh, replace them. So this is how the amplifier looks like external. So now let's look into the inside of the amplifier like how I have arranged the various modules and how I have uh, done the wiring. So one important aspect that I want to clarify here is, so I told you that I was designing and uh, prototyping the amplifiers, but the first amplifier actually I bought the complete modules and then assembled them. So this particular amplifier board is not designed by me or any of the boards for that matter. So uh, all were procured uh, module wise and they were connected. Still the amplifiers, the amplifier is very good. And of course the uh, build itself, like definitely you would uh, enjoy it. So if I open the cover, so this is how the amplifier looks from the inside. So here is a closer look of the inside of the amplifier. So I will explain each one of the modules and their uh, wiring in detail. So just take a look. So let me start with the first module. Like um, I'm just try to paint the okay. So this is the first module. So it's called as a soft start module. So it's a very important circuitry that one needs to use with any high quality audio amplifier. So actually it eliminates the possibility of transient current that could damage the amplifier as well as speakers. So that is the purpose of this module. So here is a sample soft start module that I have purchased for building one more prototype. You can take a closer look at it. So one other important aspect of this 
module is that it also has a temperature sensor circuitry built into it. So you can see two sockets here. So temperature sensors go to these sockets and those sensors can be mounted on uh, the heat sink where you have mounted the output transistors of the amplifier. So you can set up you can set up a specific temperature. So when the temperature of the heat sink reaches that particular set temperature, what happens is the module switches off the power supply to the amplifier. So in this way, you can safeguard the transistors in the output stage of the amplifier. So it can be implemented for an amplifier with MOSFET amplifier, MOSFET transistors or even bipolar transistors. So the next component that I have here is the transformer. So it's a toroidal transformer with secondary voltages uh, of 35, 0, 35, uh, 0, 12 and 12, 0, 12. So it has three secondary voltages. So I'm specifically using 35, 0, 35 to power my amplifier. So it's uh, uh, VA rating is around uh, 300 VA. So it should uh, uh, deliver about uh, 300 divided by 35 plus 35. That is 70. 300 divided by 70 is 4 point something amps. So it should deliver so, mu so much of current. So here is a sample toroidal transformer. So I purchased this for building uh, one more prototype. So it's a 32, 032 volts secondary transformer. It also has a 12, 0, 12 tapping and a 0, 12 tapping. So once again, this is a 300 VA transformer. So the next module is what you can see here. So it's the power supply module with speaker protection module built in with the delay. So everything built in on a single board. So these are the filter capacitors. So I have used uh, 15,000 microfarad capacitors. 15,000 into 4, so 30,000 uh, uh, microfarad per uh, rail. You can take a closer look. So the build quality of the module is simply spectacular. So finally, the amplifier modules. So for the left channel, you have the board here. For the right channel, you have the board there. So the boards uh, are built using finest quality audio grade components and as, as you can see on the heat sink the MOSFETs are mounted that is Exicon 10N20 and 10P20 you can see here so I told you about the temperature sensors so you can see here two sensors connected on two sides of the heat sink. So these sensors sense the temperature and when the temperature reaches a certain uh, particular value, uh, I f I've forgotten like uh, to what temperature I've set it. So if it reaches the temperature, the soft start module switches off the power to the amplifier. So in this way, the output transistors are safe. So that's about the amplifier boards. So finally, the wiring. So it's very simple. So let's start with the power. So from the power socket, so you can see here. So the uh, wire goes to the switch on the front. Okay, so from the switch, it comes to the soft start module here. 
so through switch it comes to soft start module and uh, from soft start module the power goes to the parallel transformer so from soft start module it goes to the toroidal transformer so the secondary of the toroidal transformer is connected to the power supply unit power supply board so after rectification and filtration here from this part the power goes to the two amplifier ports one channel another channel so that's it about the power supply coming to the signal as you can see here so the inputs in the two inputs left and right okay two inputs left and right so from here it comes to the volume control knobs okay so one uh, one important aspect is i've used uh, wire wound volume uh, what do you call wire wound potentiometers this is something unique so i tested it and it's working great so these are wire wound potentiometers 25k so from these potentiometers it goes to the amplifier board so the left and right signal through wire wound potentiometer it goes to the two boards so i don't have a buffer preamplifier i could have used but uh, uh, finally i thought like uh, uh, without the buffer preamplifier itself it works fine so and then from the amplifiers from the amplifiers as you can see the output the output of the amplifier it goes to the speaker protection circuit from the amplifiers it goes to the speaker protection circuit and from speaker protection circuit it goes to the output terminals output terminals here from amplifier it goes to speaker protection circuit and from speaker protection circuit it goes to the output terminal so that's about the wiring very very simple so one other very interesting aspect that i want to share with you is i want to tell you about where i procured all these modules so to start with so the soft start module and the power supply unit power supply and speaker production module that i have here so those were procured from a website called as diyaudiocrafts.com so that is one place where i usually procure a uh, lot of modules and components for diy audio purposes so the second unit that is the toroidal transformer so the toroidal transformer was procured from an online store called toroidaltransformer.co.in so that is the second one so the amplifier boards were procured from an online store called salcon electronics actually these boards are made by a different company i guess by the name uh, 8 audio or something like that but it's uh, marketed by probably salcon electronics so the the amplifier boards were procured from salcon electronics and finally the cabinet itself so it's very very difficult to get uh, good quality cabinets but still i figured out couple of places are more uh, where i can uh, get uh, uh, some professional cabinets so this particular cabinet was uh, purchased from uh, uh, from a store called as ng electronics so it's a kolkata uh, based uh, uh, store and uh, um uh to know more about that store 
what you can do is you can go to youtube and uh, type in ng electronics they have put up a lot of videos from there you can uh, take their contact and contact them if you want to purchase anything from them so uh, this is how i have uh, purchased uh, various some oh yeah one other thing is the terminals like these gold plated terminals speaker terminals and uh, input terminals of course uh, these were also purchased from uh, uh the audio crafts so the same website so that's about it so one other funny aspect that i want to share with you is if you were to go to youtube and search for diy mosfet amplifier or say mosfet amplifier so you would definitely get a lot of listings but most of those videos are not related to mosfet amplifiers so some uh, misinformed people are trying to project uh, bipolar transistor based amplifiers as mosfet amplifiers either they are misinformed or probably they do not have uh, proper theoretical knowledge about transistors and amplifier designs so most of them are trying to project bipolar uh, transistor based amplifiers uh based on transistors uh, 2SA1943 and uh, 2SC5200 so those are uh, bipolar transistors from Toshiba of course they are very good transistors no doubt but they are not mosfet amplifiers so uh, very few mosfet amplifiers are currently available so uh, uh, if you were to ask me like uh, 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 a few designs are available from uh, IRF series. Actually, they are uh, called as um, vertical MOSFETs. Um, they are also called as hex FETs. So the very purpose of uh, them was in uh, switching circuits. But uh, uh, some designers have adapted them to build audio amplifiers. But still, they sound uh, pretty well. so other than that uh, currently i think only one pair of lateral mosfets are available in the market so um, if i remember the numbers one minute i will just there is the okay it's here so it's uh, 2sk1058 and 2sj162 so only that pair is available in the market so those are again Uh, lateral mosfets and they sound really good if you can procure some original ones you will be able to design and build some top quality amplifiers so that's about uh, this video so if you like this video please click on the like button so if you uh, wish to receive notifications so you can click on the bell icon uh, you can also subscribe to my channel so that's it for this video so bye for now thank you